What up, guys? Thank you for joining me again this week. Once again, it's Larry Williams, OAW Commander-in-Chief, and I'm here to bring you the first in my new Manga of the Month segment right here on Otaku Assemble Weekly. That's right. This time, I'm back, <laughs> and I'm here with my, uh, actually, my long overdue Manga of the Month segment. Man, like, it's funny. I've been planning to do, you know, to start up the Manga of the Month segment for a couple of months now, and, you know, last month, I actually had to push it back, you know, shit was crazy on my end of things, but I'm finally here to bring you the first, and I thought, what better, what better manga to start off with than Siren? Now, before I get into the review, or, yeah, well, it is a review, but before I get into the review, I think I need to clear up exactly what the manga of the month segment and the anime of the month segment reviews are supposed to be because there might be a misunderstanding there um the manga of the month and the anime of the month segments are supposed to be first impressions they're not supposed to be full series reviews so uh, i apologize if you guys if if i may have given the wrong impression that they that i was going to actually be reviewing the whole series but um but no they're they're going to be first impressions. That why, that's why when I asked for requests, I what made the list for the manga of the month and the anime of the month reviews were titles that I would that I was not familiar with, because the idea be, behind these videos is that I, I want to review anime and manga that most people might not have heard of, and that way. It's, it's almost as if if you guys watch my video and it's my first time reading or watching, you know, a manga or an anime, then maybe that will convince you guys to want to check it out for yourselves. That's the idea behind it. So that's what the manga of the month and the anime of the month, that's what they're for. So with no further ado, let's get into it. Okay, now I'm going to be, I'm also going to be referencing back to the Wikia page just so I can clear up all my information. Um, like I said, I am still fairly new to the series, and to be honest with you, I read the first three chapters of Siren a couple of months ago, so I kind of do need a little bit refreshing. Um, but pretty much, Siren is a Siren is a shonen manga title that has been, I believe it, yes, it has been serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump. It's by Toshiaki Iwashiro. Yeah, Awashiro, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And pretty much, okay, a quick synopsis of what Siren's about. Siren is pretty much the story of um, a teenage boy named um, Ajia, um, who, for some reason, I don't know why, this was just my interpretation of it, but, you know, in the first chapter when we get introduced to the character, they kind of pass him off as this, like, as... A, he, he's not, quote-unquote, a delinquent character, but he treads that line. Um... And that's something I'll get back to later on after my synopsis, because I want to talk about that. I just thought I'd throw it out there to reference back to it later so you guys know where this reviews excuse me, where this review is going to head once I'm done with the synopsis. But pretty much pretty much the story follows him. Um, he's a high school student who um, one day he's just walking down the street and he discovers um, a phone booth, a pay phone that is ringing. And, you know, there's an old saying, if if uh, if a phone rings and no one's, you know, if a phone rings in an empty phone booth, it just has to be answered, doesn't it? <laughs> but uh, so pretty much he goes, he answers it and he finds in the he finds in the phone booth a phone card that says siren on it. And he doesn't know exactly what that means. So over the course of about the next two or three days. When he looks into what it actually means, he finds out that, oh, you know, like, uh, Siren's like this, uh, this urban legend where they say, uh, they say, I, I believe it was, if you use the card in a phone, then, you know, a couple of days later, you'll disappear or something like that. Like, th th there were a whole bunch of rumors and a whole bunch, you know, myths about exactly what it was. Um, but the only real, the only real, like, lead that he kind of has is a classmate of his um named i believe it's um it is sakura ko yes sakura ko who she you know she she's uh she's the quiet girl in class uh a distant you know distant uh associate and whatnot but 
she mentions it. And so that's that's the only real lead that he has because someone that he's fairly familiar with knows something about it. That's it. But pretty much, um, Ajia takes it upon himself to check it out for himself. So, you know, he goes, he uses the card, and he gets caught up in this this very long, like, uh, quiz. It's like a questionnaire, um, a survey, if you will. And, you know, after after so long, you know, when he finally finishes it, he's like, you know what? Screw this, because he, he thinks it's, a just, it's just a hoax. But, um, apparently, something happens with a, a mysterious figure named nemesis q who he he's like the the mascot for siren and he's you know he's like he's like you know once again he 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 goes along with the urban legend he's like the boogeyman or the yeti or bigfoot you know no one's ever seen him but you know there's rumors about him well apparently um ajia gets in a sticky situation with these two gentlemen who pretty much want the siren card from him and in a latch in a last you know ditch opportunity uh situation pretty much nemesis i believe offers him i believe he offers him a cell phone and he uh and he tells him you know this is what you have to do to get out of the situation so of course ajia takes him up on the opportunity and he finds himself in this this distant barren wasteland and he doesn't know what to think of it but he finds his uh he finds his classmate there also, along with a group of other people. And apparently, they're stuck in some type of game. Now, I want to go ahead and I want to pause right quick. Because I want to bring something uh, something that I kind of noticed or drew a parallel to when I was reading this. If any of you guys are familiar with the series Gantz, um, that I was praying to God that you know this series didn't wasn't like Gantz. Um because I'm sorry, but show up in an odd place, show up in a room full of other people, and y'all gotta play a game in order to escape that world. It sounds just like Gantz. That's just something I I mean of not to give anything away, but I'm saying that aspect of the story sounds like Gantz. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, but okay, so pretty much what happens is there, you know, like I said, Ajia, he shows up, he, um, he's with his classmate, uh, Sakura, Sakura Ko, Sakura Ko, yes, and, you know, and these, and these other strangers that he just met, and, like I said, they're playing a game, the, the game is, the game is simple, they get a phone call, they answer the phone, they get their objective, and they have to make it to the next phone, in order to get the next objective and that's how you work through the game i don't want to give like i said it's the first impressions i don't want to give up give away too much of the story and to be honest i'm real tempted i might i might just i might just uh leave off what the big reveal about siren really is um because there is a big reveal that you learn i would like to say fairly early on in the series um, because you learn exactly what the nature of the game is and where they are and what's going on and stuff like that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave that off because part of the fun of reading it was trying to figure the shit out. You know, I mean, you know, just, just like any manga, you know, you don't, you don't just like any story for that matter. You don't reveal everything at the beginning. Of course not. You know, you like, you like to keep things in the dark, but that's the, I, I, I shit you not. That was actually the fun of reading this because, you know, because I'm sitting up there and I'm trying to figure it out before I actually get to it. That was the thing. And, and, and I like doing it. You know, I've done I've done that with like Death Note and I've done that with Code Geass multiple times. You know, those, those type of those type of manga that that, you know, it, it, it challenge you mentally. And I like to, you know, I like to try to figure I try to figure it out before I get there. But uh, so I hope you guys will do kind of do the same thing. I, you know, I don't, like I said, it's a first impression. It's not a full series review, so I'm not going to reveal everything that happens. But pretty much, how to say it without giving away too much. Pretty much what happens is that Ajia, over the course of the story, Ajia and his classmate and the participants of the game, they find out that, one, you know, like anything, 
nothing is like it seems and they find out that the what the true when they find out what the true nature of the game really is then they take it upon themselves to pretty much how to say it okay pretty much what ha what occurs later on in the series is that or throughout the not later on but throughout the course of the story the characters are pretty much trying to they're trying to change history i think it's safe enough to say that that's what they're actually trying to that that's what that what occurs uh, they, they try to change a, 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 a pre-established history. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say any more of that. Just let you guys think about that for a while. Hopefully I've intrigued you enough to want to pick this up to see for yourselves what I meant when I said a pre-established history. That's it. That's it. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going, I'm not going to spoil it. That I'm just going to say that. So, um... But but yeah, so so what are my general thoughts going into it? Like I said, it's a I, I like it so far. Um, like I said, I'm about three chapters in. I like it so far. Um, the the artwork's great. Artwork's great. The I feel the dialogue. I mean, the writing of the story. I think is 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 done well. The dialogue. I'm not. The dialogue seems kind of meh, but um, I, I'm almost positive that it does get better. Uh, but like I said, you know, every everything is kind of is a little meh right now because, like I said, I, you know, you're you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to discover what the mystery is. So, but other than that, I mean, I, I, I like it. Um, so, like I said, guys, feel free check it out. You know, let me know what you think. Also, I have to say this. I have to say this. Because if I don't, I, I need to say this. Because, like I said, these are not supposed... You're not supposed to spoil it. Guys, you guys who actually read Siren, do not put spoilers in the comments. Please, do not spoil it for other people who might want to pick up this manga. If you really do love this manga, you would want other people to get into it just as much as you are. Do not spoil it for people in the comments, guys. Please don't. So, other than that, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to leave this, uh, I'm going to leave this review off. Thanks for joining me. As always, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, once again, before I leave, shout out to the cast and crew of a podcast of Ice and Fire for having me on their show this past week. I'll put the link to their website, once again, in the description box. Um, and also, guys... Like I said, hold on one more time. I'm going to show you guys this because I I did it in my, uh, my, my, my weekly manga review. But I'll go ahead and show you guys again. Okay, I actually have, I have it compiled. The new list. The manga of the month. The anime of the month. Anime favorites. And the ranks. I got, I got a new list. got a new compiled list. So I'm not, I'm not a... I'm not taking any new request uh, request right now. Excuse me. I'm not taking any new requests. But guys, um, tell me how I did in this vid. Tell me how y'all think I did in this vid. Like I said, this was you know off the cuff. As most uh, all my videos are off the cuff. I don't rehearse. But pretty much, let me know how y'all think I did. Um, expect oh, especially the the quote unquote siren fans. Guys, let me know if you think I did a good job revealing enough to intrigue new readers but not but not to the point where i gave too much away um because that was the challenge with this review more so than any other review i've done before it's it's you know making sure i don't give away too much so guys let me know how i did in the comments section and other than that i got a i got game of thrones review tomorrow and in case you guys are well I won't let you guys know what's what's next on the manga of the month list because that that that's, that's the other uh, intrigue of this segment. The manga of the month, the anime of the month, the anime favorites, and the rants. They're supposed to be surprises. So, uh, so guys, thanks for joining me. And until then, this is Larry Williams, OAW Commander in Chief. I'm signing off, and I'll catch you cats later. Peace.